Hello everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. <clears throat> Today is uh, September 7th, 2021, and this will be Charm Chatter 233. I have some things to talk about. It's also Tuesday, uh, so it's Tuesday Treats, um, and I have a winner picked from last week. So we're going to talk about that, uh, and we'll see who that was. Which was also, Tuesday Treats last week was also, I'm going to make sure I say it right, hashtag share the yummy love. So if you entered that uh, and your name is drawn, and I did draw it, so I do know who it is. Um, you have the Tuesday Treats as a one week, because every Tuesday I'm going to pick a new treat to give away. And they're not going to be huge treats, but they're just, um, just to give away every week on Tuesday. Uh, just a little treat video, uh, just a little treat giveaway, not like make your stash kind of giveaway. <laughs> uh, and it may not always be yarn. Um, but anyway, so last week's winner will have until next Tuesday. I mean, this week's winner will have until next Tuesday. I don't know if I ever made that really clear, so I'm making it clear now. Tuesday treats is a one week giveaway. Don't you like my yarny shirt? Isn't it cute? I do. It doesn't say anything. It's just a llama. Uh, so I don't know that I made that perfectly clear. So last week's winner still hasn't gotten back to me. So I'll give you till next week too. And then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with unclaimed prizes because I have an issue with people not claiming their prizes. <laughs> so um, if you enter and you don't claim your prize in a week, I think I might do some kind of additional like giveaway. Well, uh, I've been told that all unclaimed prizes have to go to Madonna. And I don't mind sending them to her, but <laughs> she is a subscriber of mine and she is a friend. So I really don't mind sending them to her, but Madonna doesn't need yarn. <laughs> so she tells me, I mean, who doesn't want yarn? So let's go with that. But um, I think I might do something at Christmas. So we'll see. Uh, maybe something like a live giveaway kind of thing. I don't know. I'll have to work on figuring that out. And, you know, I've only done a couple of lives. So, again, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, but I really just don't want them sitting around. That's why I want to get them out of here before I decide, oh, I really might just want to keep that yarn. <laughs> uh, which I don't want to do. Because it's a giveaway, right? Okay, so enough of that. Uh, I do want to thank you for joining me in the yarn room, and it's a mess. I don't know that you can see what all of a mess it really is, but, like, I have these shelves behind me go this way, and then there's a shelf that sits on front. They're, like, empty. I don't know where that yarn is. <laughs> no, I actually, I do. I moved things around, <clears throat> but I think I might move upstairs. So I kind of quit working on it because if I go upstairs, then I'm just going to rearrange to rearrange. Which doesn't make a lot of sense. So, so there's that. So what else do I have? Um, so yeah, welcome to the yarn room. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for all of my returning subscribers. Welcome to any new subscribers or potential subscribers. If you like what you see, hit the little like button uh, and the subscribe button. I appreciate that. I did get some mail. I do have one um, whip that I worked on that I can show you that's my completed object for the for the month uh, since it's one of my monthly crochet alongs uh, but I really didn't get much crocheting done over the weekend it was a holiday weekend I had to work on Monday the holiday uh, here in the states anyway um, but I did get some fun mail I'm gonna say happy mail because it made me happy but it's not really yarn and I did get I think now all of the washcloths so let's start with those um, this bag, and I haven't taken that one out. I did open this particular bag. Oh, <laughs> this is from my friend Trish, who made washcloths for wings, um, but she wanted them donated in Sally's name. Uh, and there was 12. And I knew they were coming. Um, she sent me the... So they're included in the total. All of, all of the washcloths that I received today, I knew were coming. You know, I had said... If you, um, you know, have the postmarked, um, I had 
this year. <laughs> if you have the postmark uh, receipt, you know, email it to me. Ooh, I like this color, Trish. Look at this one. Look, this is really blowing it out. I ha I'm on my ring light. Uh, let me turn that off and see if that's better. Oh, yeah, that's a much better color. You know, shows the color better. Um, that's real pretty. So, oh, I like this one, too. So it's included in the total of the over 500 and um, these will be included. Oh, that's a nice one. Also, when I go see Rose at the end of the month and it's going to be kind of cool to actually go see Rose at the end of the month. So those are the ones Trisha and, uh, donated in the name of Sally, and she did send me a little card just as a reminder. Hey, dummy. Um, <laughs> don't forget to put these in Sally's name. But I did put them in Sally's name. Uh, and then I have three more here. I did go to the post office box today um, because uh, when I did the live drawing for the um, yarn balls, those went out. See, that was Thursday's video. Um, last week. I don't know what the day it was. I think it was, I don't know what it was. <laughs> uh, the first or second or in that third, maybe, um, I did it. You know what? It must've been the second Thursday, the second we had the live drawing and, um, yarn balls were given away and they were sent out on Friday. Then in the meantime, and then we had a giveaway, just random giveaways also that we did that day for un some unclaimed I told you I have a problem with unclaimed um these are from by the way before I rip this all up uh these are from Burke Falls Ontario Canada and I hope there's a card with the first name on here uh -uh. Penny Penny from on Ontario Canada sent in these oh, wait here is the Here's a little note she put in here, and um, I hope I make it in time with the international. Little bits of yarn is where Penny is from. Um, I, if you have uh, an, an actual station, you know, channel with um, and she made three. I will look. I will look Penny to see if I can link. Uh, you know, a channel if you have a channel, you know, that you put out content. Um, because I will definitely subscribe. I should have looked earlier if I had opened these, but I, as you can see, I didn't open them. Uh, uh, I picked them up from the post office the other day um, on Friday, actually, when I dropped off the yarn balls at the post office. And then uh, I went there today and I eat, I sent out three gifts um, from the live drawing that were just gifts not um not the stained glass yarn balls so three went out because i've had three people contact me and i believe there are three more still to um, be claimed so if you don't want them to go to madonna then please 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 watch that video um oh i love pink and these are four. And I have one more package. And this is from Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. Uh, she made some washcloths for wings as well. So, as I was saying, if you did not watch that video uh, from September 2nd, it's, you know, watch the replay of the live drawing. Go watch it because um, I have three unclaimed prizes. So somebody needs to claim those. Or else my time I'll get them. Or they'll go into whatever I decide to do at Christmas time. Oh, Ooh, I love the mint color. And we got a pink one from Nancy. 
Now, y'all, if you don't know Nancy, she does have a channel as well. Trish has a channel for sure. Mama Swift that sent in the first ones that we got. Um, Sally, who she was giving them to, does not have a channel with content. Um, now look up little bits of yarn and see if she does. But I will try to remember to link these. Oh, she left the tail. Ah, Nancy, that's funny. <laughs> I will weave that in for you, girlfriend, because you're my girlfriend. Okay, so thank you, ladies, for that. Uh, so then I have... I don't think I'm expecting any more washcloths for wings, but if we get some, I'll be, you know, of course, uh, glad to send them on to where they belong, take them with me if they're here in time, um, but, you know, send them to Rose now. Well, in October. She wants them in October. So if you followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I got involved in several crochet alongs this year at the beginning of the year. And... Um, one of them, I haven't worked on in several months, but this one is the one from the Secret Yarnery. And I think she is just calling it Crochet Along 2021. I believe there's a hashtag that says that. Uh, and, oh goodness, which one did I just do? I think it's this one. <laughs> um, so every month I just do a big square. It's just one square. She was late for August. So this is really square number eight that was for August. And I don't weave in the beginning and end tails until I have squares put together as a general rule in case there's an issue and I have to take it apart. <laughs> you just never know with me. Sometimes there's issues. But this is the one that I did for the month of August. And I don't remember what she called the stitch, but I like it. And this is made with Pound of Love, and I believe this color is called Creamsicle. Um, and it's the big one. And I used this in my Luck of the Draw uh, 3. It was color number, it was color number 6 in my Luck of the Draw 3 from Nan's Next Knots. And I obviously didn't use that much of it. So I decided to incorporate it, and what I'm doing is, this is, uh, gosh, got to go backwards in months. So this is August, this is July, and then I think I started with the yellow squares, and then I went, I did three yellow, three mint green, um, and I don't know why they're every other color. And then I'm going to do three in this color. So next, the month for the one for September is also going to going to be in this uh, creamsicle color, and then I think I'm going to do three in la pink or lavender, or maybe baby blue. I don't know. Um, I think pink or lavender, and then I will attach them and border them with the opposite. If I make the squares in pink, then I'll do the lavender. Um, my granddaughter's cousin wanted a rainbow blanket pastel rainbow blanket and so i'm going to make them in you know rainbow color order and put this together for her and then i'll put it together with i'll probably make the next squares in pink and then the border it in a lavender you know join and border in the lavender um so that is the end of that. That's my only finished object. And I consider it finished because it was the crochet along for the month was to make the square. So I made the square and that is going to my only finished object. I have been working on my shrug, uh, it, the Tunisian stitch shrug that I'm making for myself. It's going very slowly. <laughs> uh, if I use the bamboo, I have this like whole, the bamboo hooks that I have, which I didn't bring up here. I'm sorry, I already showed them to you. Have a cable on them. And so it's like awkward to work with. Uh, and it's much slower. The, the yarn doesn't slide off as quickly. Now someone said to rub wax paper on it, which I will do because it was smoother before. Um, and when I use just the straight long hook, uh, I tend to drop stitches because it comes off so fast because <laughs> it's metal so I um so I crochet slower on the like I could go faster 
with the metal hook, the metal hook would be like really quick. But I still have a problem with the having everything on my hook. And where do you hold on to? And like, it's just weird for me. But I am enjoying it and I'm anxious to get it done. And so I said, you know, I've been taking it to work because it fits in my little to-go bag for work. And um, I get to work on it maybe like a row or a row and a half during my breaks or maybe a little bit before work. And then that's like really, really I've been working on it. So it's not growing very quickly at that rate. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I get a row and a half. So, I, and I do take the wooden long with the long cable to work because I can push it all down onto the cable and I know it's not going to fall off and I won't know how to put it back on because <laughs> that's a problem for me with Tunisia. Um, so anyway, enough chitter chatter about that. I have been working on it and it's getting longer, uh, wider, deeper, uh, slowly. Um, and I've been working on the, uh, blanket I'm making for my daughter-in-law's brother, the Van Halen blanket. Uh, I worked on that a little bit. That doesn't have much more, I think, and I can be bordering it. So if I'm going to put, I might not even put a border because I'm doing the modern granny. So uh, if I work diligently on that this week, maybe I'll be able to get, really get some headway done on it and get it out of here. Well, put away for Christmas because I'm going to give it to him for Christmas or his birthday or whatever. So then I got some happy mail. Um, and as I said, it just makes me happy because it's something I ordered and I wanted. But it's nothing like all that exciting for you guys. But I'll show it to you anyway because why not? I ordered, uh, I had, I'm, you know, doing some beading, which I haven't, I didn't even do any of that over the weekend, except that I uh, had a bracelet that I was giving away as a gift in, uh, that I gave away as a gift on Thursday in the draw, in the live video, and it needed the clasp. And I didn't have, uh, the lobster claw clasps that I wanted to put on there. So I ordered this kit and it's got um, all different kinds of clasps and jump rings so you can make you make your bracelet like have different sizing, you know, just by where you clasp it. But it's got them in all these different colors to match your beads. And I'm like, that's so cool. Uh, so, I, and it's got different kinds. It's got the claws and then it's got the grabby things and it's just, you know, all kind of different, different kinds of jewelry making stuff. But I really love that it's all these different colors of um, like bronze to black, those golds and silvers. And uh, so anyway, oh, don't turn it sideways. That's a bad idea. Um, so anyway, I ordered and I received that. And I also bought some cording for making bracelets in different, it came, you could get bright colors or you could get the, like this, uh, and, and, you know, and then more neutrals. And I don't, because I'm really new at this, I didn't know how big these, these looked really big in the picture on Amazon, but, uh, yeah, not so big. Um, but I think you still get a lot of use out of each of these. So anyway, I, I ordered these and I, those came and I was like, yay, I got happy mail. Sorry, it's not yarn, but it is what it is. Then, uh, what else did I have to talk about? I have notes over here. Oh yeah. So this week's, um, prize for Tuesday treats. <laughs> I named it. I can't even think about it. So as I said, Tuesday treats will be week to week. So this week we're having a little treat of um, this yarn. It's it's Dreamweaver yarn, but you're going to get four skeins. Um, and it looks, doesn't it look just like, and, and it feels just like, um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh Good Lord. Can't think of the name of it. Um, hold on. I'll get some. Just wait one. Okay. Look at his foot. Here it is. Landscapes. Look at that. Just like landscapes. Um, 
It doesn't have a colorway or anything like that, but you're going to get four skeins. It's the Dream Weaver. Um, and I think you can really do some good with this. It's soft. It's really pretty. So this is what's the Tuesday treat for this week is these four skeins. I'm going to set them over here for right now. Um, in the comments, you will have to make a comment. Uh, the comment is going to be that you have to include in your elephant, just because I'm looking at one. So in your comment, put the word elephant, and that will uh, let me know that you're interested in winning the yarn. I will pull the name for next week's video, and then you'll have one week to claim your prize. Um, I better write down that I put elephant because, you know, I'll forget. Uh, elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Um, so what do you have to do besides make the comment? You have to be subscribed because this is for my subscribers. It's a thank you. You have to make the comment. You will be responsible for any taxes, duties, government, legal, blah, blah, blah. Is anything, any of that stuff. That's all on you. Uh, this is not sponsored by anyone but me, Charm Gravy Crochet. Uh, any legal mumbo jumbo that pops up, that's, you, you have to uh, abide by all of that. My rules for me are be subscribed and make a comment. If you don't make a comment, I can't pick you. <laughs> Sorry. The comment has to include the word elephant. Um, so legal mumbo jumbo and all that stuff. Now, the winner of last week's prize, which is in here, all of this stuff is for the uh, hashtag share the yarny love. So one person gets this, uh, one and this, and two of these, or however they want to divide it up. If they're, I'm assuming they're going to be friends. I mean, I know they should be friends. And the other person gets one of this and one of this and two in the purple. So I did, as I said, draw the name. And the video is uh, going to be attached at the end of the actual drawing coming up. Uh, the winner is Jana Crochet Journey. And I checked out her channel. Yeah, she has a channel. She I was subscriber number 26. So go check her out. So this is going to be a shout out uh, to a new, um, a new channel. And she wants yarn for her daughter, who is just learning to crochet from her videos. So check her out because she I watched the introductory video and that's all I had time for before making this video. So anyway, as I said, check her out. Uh, give her some yarny love. Hit that subscribe button for her. And let's get her numbers up. And uh, so, Jana, I, want, I need you to go into that video, which is number, Charm Shatter number 232. Go into it. Get to your comment and add the words shout out. Then email me at charmgrammycrochet uh, at gmail.com, which will be linked in the description. You know, it'll be in the description box. It's in the description box of all of my videos. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got all of a sudden I got fuzz in my throat. Uh, so go in there and uh, go in, email me and tell me that you've put the word shout out in that, in that, uh, comment so that I know it's you. Send me your address. And since this is for your daughter, I just want to send it all right to you. You guys can fight over it when you get it there. And uh, as soon as you do that, by next Tuesday, the, I believe it's 13th, um, I will get that out to you. And as I said, I will put the clip at the end here so you can actually watch the, the video go by if you so desire. And if you don't, that's fine too. Uh, and that's all I have for you today. Yeah. Yep. We picked, gave the winner, picked a winner, showed my one finished topic. Yep. That's it. That's all I got. 
<laughs> uh, it was a long weekend, but it wasn't a crochet weekend. Sorry to say. I didn't make any beads either, and I really wanted to do that. Okay, so that's all I got. I will see you in the next video. Uh, have a totally awesome rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.